Thermal bridging is one of the key points that needs to be addressed in any building, um, but in particular in a passive house where such onerous low levels of heat loss are, are allowed for. Um, key elements for thermal bridging can occur are often at fixings. Um, you could have window to wall junctions or in particular structural elements where steel is required. One of the main benefits of timber frame is timber as a material is inherently quite an effective insulator, but in some locations steel is needed, in particular if you have can cantilevered areas around corner windows or junctions such as that. So in, in our house here, there's a large steel column running around this corner window here. So in order to address the thermal bridge with this steel column, there are a number of details that have been executed. One is there is a lintel installed on the outside here, which is bolted back to this steel. So a thermally insulating structural insulation has been installed between the lintel and the steel to help break that thermally to a large degree. But also to the, towards the outside of the steel here, there will be a window fitted later to the underside here. This can be a significant thermal bridge and the insulation here will have to account for a high compressive resistance, high weather resistance and also give an effective insulation value. So in this area here I'm going to install Bozic Phonotherm and Bozic Phonotherm is a German engineered structural insulation board which has an eff a very effective thermal insulation value. So as you can see here it's quite a dense board the sheet I'm going to use here is 50 millimetres as the gap between the window and the underside of the steel will be 50 millimetres. That's what we've planned for on this project. So you can see here we're pretty much there at about 50 millimetres of a gap. So this will be bolted to the underside of the steel which is already thermally broken with insulating fixings and then the window will be installed under that and this will also be installed around the steel columns, such as these areas we see here, to, to isolate the steel on the outside. Because external insulation on these areas is crucial. Internally insulating it, while it will insulate to some degree, it doesn't give the same continuity and effectiveness to maintain thermal continuity. So when we come back here later on, we will see the Bozic phonotherm is, will be installed to the underside and in the critical junctions in these areas. So um, at this stage, the team from TimberTech have installed the Bozic Phonotherm underneath the steel lintel here. We can see around the steel beam. This is a significant thermal bridge, but the Bozic Phonotherm has now been bonded to the steel with some Orcon F glue, and it has been mechanically fastened as well to the underside of the steel. So now this 50 millimeter Phonotherm gives a location for the window to be fixed back to at the head. And the Gutex on the outside is also helping isolate any thermal bridging at this critical threshold. So the Bozic Phonotherm is giving you a structural ground as well as a highly effective insulating uh, material for this critical junction.